And um, I was like, whatever it is, we finna cast it out right now. Hey guys, what's up? Woo, we got some stuff in here. The acoustics may, you know, still be a little bad, but it's not as bad. You know, you gotta give me a little credit. So, you know, we got a bed um, with the dresser. We're not keeping this dresser, by the way. Don't judge me. However, um, it'll work for now. Got the TV mounted, as y'all can see. Um, this will either be, well, this will be after I do the moving video, so y'all will know all of this stuff. Not sure if I want this to be kind of my permanent video spot, but I'm still searching like around the house. What do I want to be my, my video spots where I just come and unload to you guys. But anyway, so this video, I promised y'all in a previous vlog that I would share just how I plan to um, bless my home prior to moving in. So really, it needed to happen faster than I, I had anticipated. <laughs> um, I was really gonna wait to kind of get settled and then bless the home, but I went ahead and did it, you know, right when we got all of our stuff in. I wanted to wait particularly, particularly when we got all of our stuff in from the other house because I wanted to bless those items as well, you know, just bringing old stuff from somewhere else and bringing it into the home. I just wanted it to kind of be under that covering. So something scary had happened and <laughs> we, it was the day we all came to the house um, and we entered into the garage and when we got into the kitchen, glass was shattered everywhere, y'all. I had some glass plates that my parents had bought me for Christmas there were some plates, a plate set that I asked for. I really wanted it. So I was heartbroken. I was heartbroken about this, these glass plates um, because I particularly wanted these. They, they weren't expensive by any means. You know, if they were expensive, I, I would have came on here crying like, y'all. <laughs> but uh, luckily they were not expensive. Um, they can be easily replaced. They were just a particular set. It was a particular set that I wanted for some content. And um, I guess now I'm gonna have to go get this other expensive one that I wanted. <laughs> but um, basically what happened, so yeah, all of the plates were shattered. The, like a few days before I had just put the plates up. I had just put the plates up and we end up finding out like the shelves. Y'all know how the shelves have like brackets in the corner. Well, the one to the left, I guess, I can't remember if it was there in the first place. I honestly cannot for the life of me remember, but um, it was missing. And so when we looked in the cabinet, it had all shattered or it, the shelf had fell and all the glasses had kind of fell everywhere and the plates and everything. So I gotta replace my, my plate set. But I was just like, how did that happen? You know, you know, it's like, what in the world caused my plates to, flop, to fall like that? And um, I was like, whatever it is, we finna cast it out right now. I went ahead and I said, you know, we're gonna go ahead and do this blessing um, over this house, get out whatever bad energy, because there were so many people that came to see this house. It was a big open house. Realtors all over the DFW were showing their clients this home. So, you know, you can just imagine like all the spirits and energy they got attached. So I really wanted to just go ahead and, you know, just cleanse my home before moving my family in here. Um, please know that you do not have to have a new home. You do not have to have an empty home if you want to cleanse your house. Um, if you just wanna bless it and dedicate it back to God, whatever's been going on, you can do that no matter the age of your home or how long you've resided in that home. So if that's something that you feel like you need to do, um, stick around, get ready to jot down because I'm gonna be um, flashing the verses on the screen. Um, and so I'll show y'all how I did that. So basically, um, I just did five particular home scriptures. Um, there are a ton, there are a ton of scriptures that you can do over your home, but um, I chose five in particular. And I pretty much, I prayed over 
every bedroom, every bathroom, and I anointed each doorway with oil. And the oil that I used was, I'll show you guys, um, the oil that I use is frankincense and myrrh. So um, I know a lot of people like to cleanse their home with sage. Do you? I don't know anything about it, so I don't want to disrespect it. Um, and then I burned my, I burned an incense and a black candle. My family, um, my grandmother, she was heavy in using incense and candles, particular colors, meaning particular things. Um, so, you know, incense, they talk about incense in the Bible, you know, the incense filled the tabernacle because God, he loves smells, you know, and he talks about particular smells. So the incense that I lit, um, one was a particular prayer incense, I'll show you that. And um, it was a black candle, black representing security and protection. So I will show y'all those things. Um, so yeah, I just did all the, the rooms, the bathroom, even the stairwell, um, just giving God dominion over my home. Just, you know, letting him know that this is going to be a home that serves him and he, are, he is welcome in this place, okay? But get ready to jot down, you know, some notes if you would like to just kind of see or, you know, practice this on your own. When the storm happened in Dallas, we prayed over the house, you know, before we left, because we did not know, you know, what would happen. We, you know, fortunately for us, we still had our old house. We hadn't moved in here yet when that whole storm happened. Um, and him and I, with the boys, we came out here during that week and prayed together over the home. But this is something that, you know, deep rooted in me that I wanted to do as far as, you know, taking the extra steps of doing the um, anointed oil and going to each room and just saying a blessing and saying a prayer. You'll see that I started from the outside and just kind of worked my way around the home. Um, if these things are not for you, that's cool. You know, that's, that's great. I pray that you find peace in whatever you are doing. Um, just know that, of course, just because you bless your home, it does not mean nothing bad is gonna happen to you or your family. You know, the enemy is always gonna exist. You know, God, we all know that no weapon formed against us shall prosper. That doesn't mean that it won't form. It's just saying that it's not gonna prosper. So I am not oblivious to the fact that, you know, we will be facing trials and tribulations as we go through life because that's a part of life. Um, I just pray that in this home, in this family, that we all have the strength that we need to get through those trials and tribulations. And you know, and that we just be protected. You know, and I just pray that we all are protected and we are protected against any attack that tries to come our way. And that's really all it's about. It does not give you any type of um, invisibility cloth. <laughs> you know, it doesn't make you, you know, just completely um, I guess you can say, what's the word? Immune. I guess it, do, it doesn't make you immune to, you know, being under attack in any type of way or um, facing any type of bad things that happen in life. So just, just know that, you know, it just gives you peace. It will give you peace and it will allow other people that come into your home to have peace. And I think that folks will feel it. You know, they'll kind of feel like, yeah. So you guys will see, you know, that I just did oil over the doorways um, and said a particular scripture for each part of the room. Um, and that is, that's a part of my process of blessing my home. Um, everybody process can be different. They can do it a different way. You can do it empty. You can do it old. You can do it with all your stuff in. I chose to do it once we had all of our stuff in um, just to kind of, you know, cleanse those things as well. Anyway, thank y'all. I'm going to let voiceover Stephanie take over from this point. Um, and I look forward to seeing y'all in the next video. Bye. All right, guys, so let's get started. So first I lit my incense. This particular incense is for prayer. And you 
light it just whenever you're getting ready to have you know prayer time or meditate so I lit this along with my protection candle and I just kind of let it fill the room let the aroma fill the air um, while I prepare to say prayer around my house So the oil that I used to anoint my house was frankincense and myrrh and I went ahead and put a link in the description box to Cora Jake's video on how to create your own holy oil and she also has a prayer um, for anointing and praying over your house. So I started from the outside with this prayer and just worked my way throughout the home with the other prayers. As you can see, I spent a significant amount of time on the boys' room. And then I finished off with this prayer and just kind of went around the room deciding it out loud. But that is it. That is all I needed to do and it's provided me peace and I hope that it will do the same for you. Thanks for watching.